Hi, Swintons. Go back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we, we are Mad Girls. Girls. And welcome to another Mad Curls Treatment Tuesday. Mm -hmm. What's Treatment <laughs> Tuesday on our I channel? I always do an extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever we play back our videos, sometimes I can't go to sleep right away, so I just kind of like you play a Mad us. Curls video. I sure do. Um, to look for some criticism. They're long enough. They are, right? All right. Anyway, um, today, what did you say? The question was, it's Treatment Tuesday. Treatment Tuesday. Sorry. Oh, treatment I'm, Tuesday. I'm so thrilled because we just like changed our outfits and this one has a hole in it. So it's I'm, bugging I'm her. I'm stuck on the hole. Yeah. But it is Treatment Tuesday, meaning what's Treatment Tuesday? We do Treatment Tuesday is the time once we put aside yeah. and encourage you guys to watch the video. And you guys like, you look forward to them. Um, I don't think we did it last week, but anyway, we we're did. doing it this week. And you guys look forward to the time spent with us when we deep condition our hair. Yeah, so like we don't need to be in like ball gowns. So no, we're gonna rock with my little hole. My yeah. shirt. It used to be my little hole. Um, and then we were spring cleaning and I get rid of everything that even looks like it wants to be on the way out. And though I've held on to things, you guys, you often ask why I double up my shirts and all that. And I always say, cause they're so thin, they're so threadbare. This right is there. like literally like, right there. it's like, almost like see-through. I How many times have I worn all of those kind of like colorful shirts? Like there's some that still hung on by literally a thread, but not many. So yeah. I'm glad that we like have our own merch now and I'm glad that we do the Power and Black Company because I like those. But shirts. like this is the perfect shirt because like, I mean, when you mm -hmm. deep condition, it gets messy, especially yeah. if you like DIY and you get eggs and mayonnaise and all that, like that gets messy. Yeah. But this one, the one I'm doing today, I did the Mayel one. I'm doing the Mayel Baba Suen Mint Deep Conditioner. This has already been shown on our channel. You did it. But this is like a protein moisture kind of mix. So I kind of want to do this one. So I'm going to be doing it this weekend. So this shirt goes with this and it's to a whole aesthetic. So yeah. we are going with it. And I am week. doing, I've talked about this as far as maybe it being in my collection. And I might have even said that I tried it. And I might have, but I don't remember the results. And now that I'm really into these kind of like green smoothie type of deep conditioners or uh, butters co-washes or whatever I'm really into this kind of green stuff you know let's the, the color green and then all the greens in them I think it was honey's handmade that got me started on this whole green thing though I've had sotanicals in my collection forever I didn't really kind of like appreciate what was in the ingredients so um, when I was so disappointed though I think they bought it back permanently or you can buy them separately with honey's handmade I loved their I believe it was their deep conditioner their I think this was called mixed greens, their mixed deep greens. conditioner, okay? Yeah. And I thought that it was going to be gone, but they have um, put it back in stock and it is available again. But before I knew that, I started kind of like looking through my stash to see if there was anything comparable. And then I came across this. So now I know what to look for. Now I know what that Honey's Handmade did for my hair and I love the feeling. And so now I want to see if this is just as good. So this is Sotanicals Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair. And it says with biotin, folic acid, and mega greens. And then on the back it lists list a whole bunch of greens so um i'm looking forward to trying this i thought something was crawling on me i was getting ready to flip out okay <laughs> okay that's what you're doing i'm doing this okay i'm doing the mayel and um is that it i yeah. think that's it all right yeah. so if you want to see us do our treatments then please keep watching please keep watching so first things first water water wait why did you get the pink one <laughs> because you asked me was i ready and um and i wasn't Oh, okay. Was she was too busy talking about tickling. I was. So I said the string was tickling my leg. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that you don't like tickling. I'm like, what do you no. like? Tickling is just like, ha ah, No, I don't like to be tickled tickling, at all. Fun. And especially when somebody just wants you to say, like, mercy or stop or whatever, and, and you do, and they just keep going. Like, it's just, they get pleasure out of I don't know. Is tickling fun? Like, <laughs> people, people laugh, but I don't like that. I don't like to be tickled like that. I don't oh, know. Girl. Uh, it's just me. Or I'll probably you, though. <laughs> Let us know, guys. Do you like to be tickled in the comments? <laughs> do you like tickling? <laughs> I can't. I can't. We ask the most random stuff up here. That's probably like, what? Um, so I have heard different reviews about, the we got, let's see this goes, um, about the different, people's different experiences with this Mayel uh, deep conditioner. I heard that things can get out of hand if you leave it in too long. This is not okay. something you leave in kind of past its time. So it says you can put on a cap and like leave it for 15 minutes or 30 minutes um, with heat. I'll probably do 15 minutes with heat because protein, uh, I don't know, my hair gets funny with protein and I'm really yeah. not trying to play games. When was the last time you did protein hair. in your hair? Mm, when we did the Camille Rose Treatment Tuesday, which might have been like three or four or five weeks ago maybe. Okay. How's everybody's hair doing? I'm noticing that mine is doing a little bit of shedding more than... I had been talking about. Remember, I said it kind of like dried up and it had stopped. 
And so I don't really know what that's about because the weather is warm, it's very humid, my hair seems moisturized. Um, I haven't done anything taxing to my head. I said since yet. our haircut, like, I don't feel like my hair's grown. And I said that I think what that- What is that about? I think I said it's like I'm a washed tea kettle. Like, I, I do think that it is. Um, because I did revisit some videos, but and then we had to kind of keep it in perspective the time. Like I think the year before, we cut our hair in December. Yes. And we were around this time, which is now, it would have been like six months, almost seven months. Um, we were gauging by that, but don't forget this year, I did mine in February, the big chop, so to speak, um, because remember my hair was kind of like getting really long, like way past my ears. And I didn't care for that, so I wanted to cut it. And then I did, and then I think I cut it again like almost like a month later because I was going through that point where I cut my hair and then you would never know it. You guys were like, Lorian, your hair is growing back. And it was driving me crazy. So then I really cut it. And since then it's grown back. Like the way I think a haircut that costs that kind of money should grow back, like not speedily. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I feel like we just keep having this conversation. And like every time I say, like, how long has it been? You're like three months. I'm like, I, I feel know. like it's been three months for three months. Like yeah. we just keep saying three months. I'm like, why? Why is my hair growing? Well, I definitely feel like last time my hair grew faster, but I think it was because I got the full slab and um, it dragged my hair down maybe, so it made it look like it got longer, it was growing okay. faster. Like, I don't know, but yeah. to me, these bangs aren't really moving anywhere. Yeah. They're Sometimes. not, and they're not in an awkward phase. Like, they're just where they they're are just still. I'm yeah, like, why aren't they growing? They're not good, they're not bad. They're just, like, you're tired of them, but they're not where you're like waiting like, oh, just a few more weeks, I need my hair to grow back and it'll be perfect. No, they're, they are grown, but that's where bangs would fall, and you just are sick of the bang look. Yeah, I was like, so. you know, the bangs are, it's cute. It's a cute look. It's just so permanent. It's just so permanent until it grows back. And I'm like, yeah. I feel like it's been months, and you keep, and like, if you every time I ask it, my house has been like three months. I feel like, like every time I ask, it's been three months. You almost want a growth spurt. You don't want them just to grow back just like half an inch or whatever, because then they'll start getting awkward, and then you have to kind of live with their too short to kind of like, Tuck or to add in with the rest of your hair, they're too long to really be considered bangs. So you're lucky that. Well, they're, they're gonna not. they're gonna do that eventually. Hopefully, like I said, it'll be a growth spurt kind of a thing yeah. where you won't even really notice I it. I don't know because they seem so long. Like when I look at them here, like, but then once my hair dries, they shrink right back up to where they are. And I'm just like, I don't know. I love the way this stuff smells. It smells so green <laughs> and um, healthy and fresh and. It smells like all kinds of good stuff. Mine smells like and citrus then. mint. Really? Really nice slip. Loving the way it's going oh, through. Oh yeah, this Very has nice a slip. lot of slip. And um, I saw the ingredient like horsetail, so I was just like, okay, I knew it was horse gonna have. Horsetail, horsetail. And it was gonna have some sort of a slip in there, so. Yeah, again, need I bore you guys with my rave for all the deep conditioners for Sotanicals, but they are what they are, so this is just another good one in the arsenal. And there's just so many. Mm -hmm. We have so many deep conditioners, and a lot, yeah. most of them just happen to be so tannical, so you gotta wheel them all out. Yeah, because we test products, like, this would not be something like I would stick with next week. Next week, we would choose something else so that we can show you guys, you know, what's available out there. So, as much as I would love this, I probably wouldn't revisit this for a while, unless I got my days off and I like it that much. Mm -hmm. And this probably would be something that I would do. Like, I continuously use the Mega Greens co-wash um, as my co-wash of choice on my days off. Or like today, I co-wash. Okay, it's a motorcycle. Like, what is that about? Anybody? Wow, so loud. Anybody out there motorcycle drivers? Like, what is that? Is that like some joy and the noisier the better? Is it a motorcycle driver or a motorcycle rider? Um, it must be, like, yeah, it's a good point. A rider probably, right? Like a bike ride. Oh my gosh. What were we talking about the other day? Um, ketchup. Literally. It was like midnight and we were having this whole <laughs> conversation about ketchup. Yeah. Because I call it ketchup and you were like, it's catsup. And I'm like, it's not catsup. Never heard of catsup. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you basically just make like, stuff up. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, about. how did I birth somebody like you that just has just no raising, no class? I'm like, all right, you've never heard. She's like, no, I haven't. All she knew was just hot. I said, Heinz, all right, it's almost like Coke being Coke. And then everybody calls brown fizzy soda Coke. You go to McDonald's, can I have a Coke? You go to Burger King, can I have a Coke? Back in the days when we did that. Okay, everything's always a Coke, but every brown fizzy soda is not a Coke, okay? It's a soda, and then there is 
um, A and W root beer. There is um, Pepsi. Pepsi. Then there's Coke. There's Pepsi, Coke, and then there's the, the store brands. There is what else are there? Um, I'm thinking of one right now. I can't think it to the tip of my tongue. That one. That Dr Pepper. Okay, so they're all not Coke. But anyway, so I said the condiment that's red that we put on our hot dogs or hamburgers. Everybody calls ketchup. I said, but Heinz did the ketchup thing and everybody just calls that ketchup i said but actually the real word was now maybe i think i i think i had to eat pro at this point because maybe it's not pronounced catsup but it definitely is spelled c-a-t-s-u-p and you're like no it's not I've never heard it. i'm like what are you talking about i'm like i swear i'm like i'm always in the vicinity of something it was just annoying okay. I, i'm like because it sounds like you were trying to be like proud i'm like you didn't put the ketchup away you're like the cat Guys, I'm like, I'm like it's absolutely, it. it's like pomegranate, pomegranate. I'm like, there's no, it's not pomegranate, it's pomegranate. I, so I, I thought you were like, it, I'm well read I thought you I were have being, a vocabulary. I thought you were being busted. No. And I, then once you like, I guess, proved me wrong, like I had to hear about it for the rest of the evening. And Adam and Spencer's vocabulary is right up there with mine. Like they talk the way I talk. And so Adam came in, I'm like, all right. If anyone would know, Adam would know. And I'm like, Adam, have you ever heard Mr. of... Mr. Constable. Uh, Mr. Constable, right, okay. Have you ever heard of ketchup being called catsup or like spelled like that? And he had never heard of it till... But I still wasn't defeated. I'm like, okay, well then you just didn't hear of it, but there is such a thing. So then we Googled it. Did it take us a while or did we find it right away? I didn't find it because I, I, I was it. spelling it wrong. And then... <laughs> And then you yeah. then you found it, and I was mm -hmm. just like, "Girl, bye." And then you wanted me to read the origins, and I'm just like, "Girl, bye." Like, actually, it, it has um Asian origins, right? It, yeah, some, it does. Kind of like um a sauce that they put on fish or something, mm -hmm. or it's made out of. Yeah, it, it was like made out of fish or something. Yeah. So I'm never too far from the truth. I'm like, so do not debate me. I may not be spot on. Like maybe the pronunciation was not right because when you get the pronunciation, it says ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. So I said, okay, so maybe I mispronounced it, I said, but I definitely knew. And why I said that, why, I don't know, we had gotten back from takeout or something, and what did I say? Are you going to put the cats away? And you're yeah, like, you just what? said something about cats up, and I'm like, what the heck is cats up? I just like to do things and say things to bug her. Mm, and she's like, what? what? I'm like, um, the cats up. You're going to put that away in the fridge? Oh and goodness. beer. And I was just not having it. I was like, busted. <laughs> and I was like, it's not definitely not pronounced. I thought it was just like a mispronunciation. No, be like cats up. I'm like, yes, the red condiment that goes on hot dogs and hamburgers. I don't know about these things Heinz are coming out with all these mayo mixes, mayo with mustard, mayo with barbecue sauce, mayo with ketchup. So I guess for people who like like mayonnaise with their stuff and they mix it with their other condiment, mm -hmm. it's just like a ready-made mix for you. Are you are not a mayonnaise person on any level. I ever. don't do mayonnaise. No, you don't. And I think it's probably because when you were growing ever. up. I was out of the mayonnaise phase. I was watching my weight and I figured I would start taking calories off right then and there. So I literally would eat like these dry sandwiches because I grew up on tons of mayonnaise. You know how we put the knife in and slather it all over the bread and everything? I'm that girl, okay? And That's people just assume you want mayonnaise. It really like kills my vibe when I'm out at a restaurant and say I ordered like a BLT or something and it comes with mayonnaise. Like, why are you assuming I want mayonnaise so on that's my how you sandwich make a BLT. Or, or Burger King? Burger King puts mayonnaise on their burgers. Like I know. I'm like, why is there mayonnaise on my burger? Yeah, and so it doesn't have enough calories in it. So and then some com some places will like swipe wipe it off and give it back to you. I'm like, no, I, know. I can't. Like if I know it's there, I can't eat it. Like yeah. I can't eat mayonnaise. That's why, little tip, guys, for those that want to handle that, you just tell them you're allergic. Okay, you don't say you don't like it because they're basically like, well, that's too bad. We already put it on there. So they'll just like mainly just take napkin and smear it and take Swipe it, off. it off. So I would say, oh, I can't eat this. I'm allergic to it. I will break out and hide or something. And they're like, oh, we're so sorry. They'll give me a brand new one. You always got to come up with something. I mean, like, yeah. I didn't know I didn't have to say mayonnaise. Sometimes, like, I, I have, now I ask people, like, do you put mayonnaise on this? Because... Yeah. Like, I cannot do mayo. Uh, mayonnaise is the thing. I totally grew up with mayonnaise. I make tuna fish with mayonnaise. You don't. And so, but there was a phase when I had you guys that I had gotten away from doing that. I think it was because at the time I was in California and Hellman's is an East Coast thing. And it took me quite a few years to figure out out in California that Hellman's was called, I think, best foods out there. I think it was. And so I was getting a Miracle Whip and Miracle Whip is nothing thing at all like Hellman's mayonnaise. Hellman's mayonnaise has a taste all of its mayonnaise. own and it is salty whereas Miracle Whip had like a sweet kind of aftertaste and its own unique taste and I do not care for Miracle yep. Whip. Mayonnaise is canceled so, out in these streets. 
Yeah. Not these macro streets. Mm -hmm. Well, this half of macros. I don't do mayonnaise. Yes, I don't anymore either. Um, I will if I have to, like when I make potato salad, you have to right. bind the potato So, salad. yeah, like stuff like that, I will eat it in potato salad, but as mm -hmm. far as it just by itself, like I had a friend who mixed it with ketchup. So, like at the lunch table, she would put get her fries and then she would dip her fries in ketchup and mayonnaise. And I'm just like, ah. Okay. Like, I don't know. I, I mix my what, One thing I don't do sauce. is say ew to people's food. No, that's so I rude. You guys, that like, so no rude. matter what people are eating, like, you know, say, yeah. or, you know, that looks like, you know, something like I know. offensive. Like, that's gross. Like, why would. Yeah. No, you guys grew up with that teaching. I said that if you don't like something, then you just don't give an opinion, especially if someone has the plate in front of them. What's that? Or, eh, you know, that is yeah, so, so rude. rude. Like, like, teach wow. your kids to not. Do that. Yeah. I don't have opinions. You could like whisper in my ear. If I look, if I even thought like she might do that, I'm like, Tay Tay, I know what you're thinking. I'm like, what do you want? And then you're like, I don't want. I'm like, you don't have to eat it. Don't worry, you don't have to eat it. But you do not voice your opinion at this table. That person is getting ready to eat that, and that is so rude and ignorant. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to always pick it up. Why Ign not? Ignorant. Very ignorant. Very ignorant. So, um, all so right. Don't do that. So, all right. Um, this stuff is in my hair, so I'm gonna go sit. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my dryer hack. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Period. That's it. Yep. With heat, and um, I'm gonna rinse it out. You are going to. What? Mine's 30 minutes. Of course. Um, it is. Of course. With a hot towel on my head, but I'm going to do the sitting it under the dryer for 30 minutes. So. What, what is it? Or, or overnight? So what am I supposed to do for the next 15 minutes? Um, come keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys um, when it's done. Okay. Thanks. We rinsed it out, and we'll give you our final thoughts and yeah. probably some more information because I didn't give you the price or location. Or we over here talking about cats up and mayonnaise, and <laughs> we're busted. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. We are back. These are our results. So I really like mine. Um, my hair is protein sensitive. Um, a little bit of protein goes a long way with my hair. So, and I have heard mixed things about this particular deep conditioner, but I actually really, really like it. I ended up putting on a plastic cap and I use my hot head okay. and I use that for 20 minutes. And, um, when I rinsed it out, my hair was very soft. Um, it feels like, um, like I use protein, like my hair needed protein. Like I kind of feel like that, that boing in my curls, my hair is also moisturize and I would definitely use it again I like it I okay. like it the only thing is the smell um, I said it was kind of like lemon citrusy kind yeah. of mint um, I thought that might kind of fade away um, if anything to me it's a little bit stronger after mm -hmm. I rinsed it out I don't know I just keep smelling it oh yeah I can smell it yeah okay. so I just keep smelling it but um other than that that won't stop me from from using it again when okay. I need you know some protein so okay. I like it I think this is a great deep finisher cool. I like the fact that it has protein and, and moisture. moisture. Yeah, okay. I think that's really cool. All so right. this is a go for me. I really did you, did you like this when you used it? You liked it, right? I don't remember. You don't remember? Um, it's yeah. now. Mm -mm. Okay, you, I think you liked it. Yeah, I, think, I don't no, remember. We'll, we'll, we'll link. That. We'll link the video for if when it had you used it. it. I probably liked it. Okay. You know, um, all proteins aren't created the, the yeah. same equally. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, if I don't have a, like a bad thought in my mind, it probably just did what protein does for me. Okay, and um, so. I saw it online. It's anywhere from like nine dollars to like fifteen dollars um mm -hmm. i will stick it in our amazon store um and on amazon they have it for 13.99 so okay. i'll stick it in there if you are interested um i like it i'm low porosity just so y'all know if you don't know okay and i like mine my hair is steadily drying only because of the weather mm -hmm. and the the room is um hot mm -hmm. and we have the air on of sorts but um so that's why my hair is just thickening up and it's drying because it literally is drying before my very eyes but I love it um the slip was fantastic the smell I loved it um it did like all these botanical conditioners deep conditioners do does it stand out to me the way like another one was like wow like the way I carried out a few weeks ago about the henna no because to me they all are created equally though they perhaps might do different things for different heads of hair, I have never really had a bad experience yet. So it's just- And they have different ingredients. They all have different, different ingredients. ingredients. And they're, they're supposed to do kind they're, of different things. I guess they're supposed to, but um, in my hair, um, maybe I'm not at that level yet where I can like really see a distinctive difference per one. I mean, I just feel like I'm doing something good and healthy for my hair. It's deep conditioning day. And so I've chosen one and um, this one is as good as they all are. Mm. Okay, not to take anything away from the other ones or not to lift one up higher than another one. I mean, they are all very well put together. I like them all. So perhaps my hair could be maybe in a healthy state that I might reach for one that might have say, if your hair is dry, well, my hair wasn't necessarily dry. It is drying as I'm talking, but I don't have a problem with 
moisture at this point. I don't have a problem really. I think this one said something about um, hair shedding. Well, I wouldn't be able to tell right now because I just put it in today. So maybe within the next couple of weeks, if that stops, if I continue to use it, yeah. you know, then I could speak on that. But um, that's why people have to be clear, especially like influencers, right. like certain claims. Like you can't speak about like shedding or hair loss because like that's something that has to be over time. Seen over time. Like yeah. uh, we were watching an influencer and they were doing a review on these brand new pills, hair pi or what is it? Remember them pills? The, yes. the pill. I'm like, how is how is he reviewing pills and how can he speak on if it clears his skin up or whatever the pills just came out yeah. within like a week. I'm like, he can't sit here and say he loves the pills, they're amazing because yes. he doesn't know if they work yet. What so. this day, this treatment Tuesday is about is really application process, the feel of the product, perhaps the smell of it, the ease of application, um, how much it costs, where you can find it, right. how readily accessible. But as far as us coming back, yes, you can kind of, I mean, some of them Some are of them you can see, yeah, right yes. away. Like yeah. There's an allocate one that time, the, when we first used it, that avocado one, it mm -hmm. was just like, wow. The other one that Ryogio, I used. Ryogio, Meech. Yes, and, oh, yeah, definitely the Meech protein. Yeah. And the henna one that I used, okay? The, yeah. When I came back, the results were outstanding. But other um, daily ones that you reach for that um, have the claims that, you know, it has this and it does this and it moisturizes. And, okay, all right, so it, it's a matter of over time. I mean, my hair is not not healthy. I mean, it my hair looks like my hair rinsed out of a deep conditioner. Yeah. Okay, in all honesty, it looks not so. um, over push and over promote and over lie. For me, <laughs> <laughs> over lie. <laughs> so for me though, I don't really use protein. This one sat on the shelf forever, so I was afraid to use it. But I really, really like this. I'm impressed with this. So this will definitely go in this very, very, very small section I have of conditioners that I reach for when I look for protein. I like the meat protein one. I like oh, yeah. the, the Camille Rose, that funky smelling one. But that one did really good. Mm -hmm. The Shea Moisture. Um, the yogurt, the Camille rolls, which one? That protein one? Yeah, that Naga, oh, okay. Saki, whatever okay, it was. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whatever that thing was. The green one. Yeah, the green one. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Shea Moisture, that uh, Manuka and yogurt one. Oh, yeah. Really like yeah. that one. And now I'll add this one to the, mi the mix. Yeah. Um, Some we use, like you said, yeah, when I first used that Manuka honey one, that was fantastic. The Mish one, you know, standout yeah. qualities. Um, you know, the Sotanicals, Henna, standout qualities. The other ones are deep conditioners. They feel the same. Siltanicals is known hands down for their slip. Mm -hmm. You know, I have never tried one that has gone bad, that I have had a bad experience with. So um, what What more can I say? I mean, we say it so much. People are like, you know, stop talking about Siltanicals. No, we cannot because I love it, okay? Yeah. So that's just, you know, the way it is. But um, that's what it is. It's Treatment Tuesday. We're just here chatting, spending time with you, talking about cats up. Cats up. And what else did we talk about? Waste time with today. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. Okay. I don't remember what else. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. No, mm -hmm. so we're going to go on to our uh, wash day. I think this is a great base for the wash day that we're oh, going to yeah. do. So, my yeah. curls are looking nice. It needed mm -hmm. some protein. So, I'm glad that I did that. Yeah. Um, I think that is it. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And um, let us know if you've tried either one of these uh, treatments or if you want to. And um, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. And, and we shall see you in our next video. See you in our next video. Okay. Bye.